Hello, hello, and welcome back once again to Colorado, and today we are going to take care of the Bouncing Betty Challenge, which is essentially blow up uh, Sean Rose in an explosion. So for this, we are going to need to bring with us some lethal poison and, of course, our lockpick as always. So with this one, we will also be getting ourselves the blasted discovery or feat, which is get yourself some nitroglycerin. A nice and easy one there. And we will also get the mission story overpowered while we're doing this challenge. So, right from the start, off the bat, what we're going to need to do is get into the farm area. So we're just going to make our way over to the right through the window. And we're going to plug ourselves up behind this pile of junk here. Because we do require ourselves a change of disguise. So we're just going to wait for that guy. You can see over there urinating to have his urination and his cigarette make his way back. And as he's heading back over to the rest of his friends, we're gonna turn off the generator, turn it back on, get back behind our pile of junk, and we're gonna wait for one of the guards to come around and investigate. And here he comes now, so we're just gonna sneak up behind him, knock him out. We're gonna grab his gun grab his body and we're going to hide his body in the crate behind us it's just over by the wall here so with him now safely tucked away we're going to take his outfit and we're going to make our way over to our right we're heading towards the uh, explosives area uh, we will be trespassing in here so we're going to duck down and we're going to go in through this barn and we're going to hide behind the hay. And we're just going to wait for this little conversation here to play out. This is basically Sean Rose saying that the explosive charge isn't big enough and it needs to be ever so slightly bigger but not too much. They only want to blow the bloody door off. So we're, we're waiting here basically for Sean Rose to move away because where he is now he will be facing directly us as we want to make our way down the other side of this pile of hay and he will come over to investigate so we need him to move away. So he's moving off now once he's past us should see another white dot just making its way this direction. This will be our disguise for the next, well not for the remainder, but we will need this disguise. So we're just gonna sneak our way down behind this pile of bay hail, uh, hay bales. We're gonna turn on the radio and turn it off. That's gonna distract our change of outfit. And he is gonna come over here to investigate. And when he comes over here, all we're going to do is sneak up behind him, like we normally do. We're going to knock him out, try and stay behind the hay bales as much as possible. We're going to grab his body, we're going to put him into the hay baler, and we're just going to leave him there. We're going to take his outfit. Now we need this outfit for later on, we don't actually need it right now, but I thought I'd grab it now. And get it out of the way with so our next stop will be the water tower where we are going to retrieve ourselves a second vial of lethal poison and a second change of outfit although this would be our third change of outfit I believe so just behind the TV in the room under the water tower we will find our lethal poison vial we're going to make our way into the bathroom and overflow the sink. And we're going to hide ourselves right in the corner behind the door here. And one of the point men will come in to investigate. And when he does, we can knock him out and take his outfit. So 
here he comes now. So we're just going to close the door behind him, crouch down, wait for him to turn the tap off, and then knock him out. And then we're going to take his outfit, and we're now ready to start eliminating our targets. So we're going to exit the bathroom and we're going to make our way directly over to the big red barn and we're going to go past the greenhouse on the way. Unfortunately Penelope Graves is actually in the greenhouse so we can't poison her drink and Maya Pavati and Sean Rose are in the big red barn so we can't poison their drinks. So we're just going to have to wait and see who leaves their area first. I think I just saw Sean Rose move in, which means Maya Pavati will be shortly behind him. So we're going to go for Maya Pavati first of all. So we're going to make our way into the big red barn. Maya Pavati should be just leaving her post. There she goes. She's going to leave the big red barn and we can make our way forwards and poison the bottle of water that's on the table here. So that's Maya Pavati taken care of. We're now going to make our way back over towards the greenhouse. As you can see, Penelope Graves has now left. So we're going to make our way over to the greenhouse. And inside we will find one guard looking very, very sorry for himself. And what we're going to do is we're going to just get ourselves in position so that the prompt for poison the bottle comes up and we're going to wait here for this guard to have his cigarette. Now, as soon as he finishes his cigarette and begins to walk away, we are going to poison the bottle as quickly as we can. Because we've only got between the, the distance between him moving away and going back and sitting down in his chair. That's all the time we've got. So as he walks away, we're going to poison the, the bottle. Uh, as, we, as he sits down, we've just finished. So that's two of our targets taken care of. And our next target will be Ezra Berg. But we do still require one more item. So once we've left the greenhouse, we're going to turn on the generator over by the fence. That's going to distract this guard over here at the ammunition dump. And while we're in here, we're going to grab ourselves a uh, nitroglycerin vial. I've actually grabbed two there, just to be sure. So now we can go on with our Ezra Berg kill. So we're going to make our way over to the removals vans, where we will find an elite soldier outfit disguise. And we're just going to wait for this guy you can see over my shoulder here to move away because if he starts moving towards us as we're getting changed, he will spot us. We will almost get spotted by two people behind us, but they don't ever quite see you. So the guy has now moved away, so we're going to change into our outfit, ignoring the two guys behind us, and move away. So we're going to make our way up the ramp and into the side window of the farmhouse to avoid any cameras. And once inside, we're going to make our way through the billet room. Through the hallway, we're going to try and stay underneath that balcony as much as possible to avoid the enforcer. Make our way to the basement door, lockpick the basement door, crouch down and head inside. Now down here, we again, we'll find one guard. And depending where he is, you may have to wait on the stairs for him if he's by the, the mirror. But he's over by the prisoner for me, so we're able to sneak up pretty close. He's now making his way over to the mirror. So we're just going to sneak up behind him, knock him out, and drag his body into the crate in the far corner. Now there is a bit of waiting around involved with the Ezra Berg kill. Uh, we've took out his bodyguard here or we've took out the guard of the basement should i say but ezra berg does have a, another guard with him when he comes down here so we're just going to pick up the guard's gun and hide it in the bin while we watch maya pavati drop down dead maya pavati is down good work 
So we're going to plug ourselves up now at the bottom of the stairs. And we're going to await the arrival of Ezra Berg and his bodyguard. And they're going to go in through their little interrogation routine. And when they go to leave, we can take out the bodyguard. In the meantime, also, I'm going to grab this lethal syringe, which is what we're going to use. So here is Ezra Berg now and his bodyguard. And they're going through their interrogation routine. And when Ezra Berg goes to leave, uh, his bodyguard will hang back slightly. Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. And as you can see there, Graves has just poisoned herself as well. So as the bodyguard starts to move, we're going to follow him. Once Ezra Berg is through the door, we're going to knock out the guard. We're going to hide his body in the crate in the corner. And we're going to retrieve his weapon as well. And we're going to just hide it around the back of the boiler here. So there we go. So now we're going to plug ourselves up by this pillar behind the table here. We're going to select our lethal syringe and we're going to await the arrival of Ezra Berg again. This can take several minutes for him to come back round, so you have to be patient. But once he's in the room and approaches the prisoner, we're just going to jab him with the needle. You can break his neck or shoot him or, you know, kill him any way you want. As long as it's quiet. Been eliminated. Good work, 47. So with three of our targets now out of the way, we can continue on with the Bouncing Betty challenge. So we're going to exit the farmhouse area and we're going to make our way back over to the water tower and we're going to retrieve our explosive expert outfit. We're going to make our way back through the the mess area, I believe this is where the canteen is. Straight down the path and back into the building underneath the water tower. Into the bathroom where we will find our explosives outfit waiting for us. So now we have everything we need. All we've got to do is make our way to the explosives area which is pretty much next to the junkyard where we first enter into the farm and we're gonna go all the long way around past the motor pool because there is one enforcer in this area and he's in our way that's him right there just to our right so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug ourselves up behind these boxes here and we're just gonna wait because there's uh, because Sean Rose is here he's just given one of the guards some instructions that guard is now gonna relay those instructions to the enforcer and the enforcer will move away entirely of his own accord and he will be longer than he would be if we set off the generator where he would come straight back so once he's moved away, we're going to go into the tent area and we're going to apply our nitroglycerin vial to the explosive mixture. And that will get you the mission story overpowered. And when you pick up the uh, nitroglycerin, I believe it is, I can't remember if it's when you pick it up or when you add it to the explosive mixture, that will get you the, um, the other discovery of feet as well can't remember the name of it all of a sudden but here comes Sean Rose now he's going to inspect the C4 plastic explosive mixture and then he's going to run his little test and because we've added a whole extra vial of nitroglycerin it will more than blow the door off So there you go, that's Sean Rose down uh, with one vial of nitroglycerin and let's see what happens if we add three extra vials of nitroglycerin. There you go, 
go clean over the blast shield. Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. So that will get you the Bouncing Betty challenge. And I'm just going to wait here, make sure no one's suspicious of me before moving on. Uh, I did also try to add five nitroglycerin vials to the explosive mix to see if I could get him up over the tent there, but I didn't have enough time to get them all into the mixture. So there you go, that's the Bouncing Betty Challenge. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.